you have had a dec you've had decades long career, 50, 50 some years in science and government. What has been the impact for you again about going against the grain, so to speak? Well, it it hasn't been good for my career, I'll tell you that. I mean, I, I've had a wonderful career. I, I've been acknowledged um, by a number of organizations with various awards. Um, I've had grants from NIH, from the American Cancer Society. Um, but uh, I've been on review panels. For, I'm, I'm not bragging about all that stuff. But I, I believe among the movers and shakers in the nutrition field, I'm not taken seriously. I'm one of those contrary naysayers. And in fact, the fellow that I was my postdoctoral mentor fit the same mold. And he, he was... Um, really prominent in the nutrition business, but also didn't always get invited back. You know, I, I remember being invited to the American Heart Association to speak, and they paid my way in the mid-1980s. And I said, well, dietary cholesterol is not really important for changing your serum cholesterol. And if looks could kill, I would have been dead on the spot. <laughs> I was never invited back. But really, you have been very courageous and tremendous in the work that you've done and I am extraordinarily grateful and so grateful that you agreed to come on the show 